So hi, everyone, and welcome to this particular video on uh, the capital asset pricing model in which we're going to discuss uh, this concept of whether or not uh, something is overpriced, underpriced, or properly priced, as well as computing for the expected return based on CAPM. So consider this problem that we have. So suppose we have a T-bill rate that is 4%. A T-bill is risk-free, so of course this represents a risk-free rate. And we have that the market premium is uh, 6%, right? Um, and it's uh, asking here, what would be the fair return for each company according to the capital asset pricing model? And uh, we also need to characterize whether each company is underpriced, overpriced, and properly priced. So in this sample problem, we have two companies, the dollar discount store and everything $5, so two companies. Then we have the forecasted return of the dollar discount store being 12%. Everything $5 being 11%, and we're given with the standard deviation of returns and the betas for each of these companies. So uh, to start with, right, the expected return, the expected return, return predicted by cap M for a given level. of systematic risk is given us um, expected value, Ri, so that's the expected return, equal to the risk-free rate, that's Rf, plus the beta of a company times expected Rm okay, minus Rf. Okay? So, for example, let's now compute the expected return of the dollar uh, discount store. Discount. So, the risk free rate, the table rate is 0.4, so that's 0 0.04, plus the beta for that is 1.5. And then we're multiplying it to the expected return of the market. That expected return, right, is going to be 10%. Right, ten percent minus okay, as uh, uh the risk free rate which is zero point zero four. So this ten percent is zero point one zero, and then zero point zero four. Right. This is equal to zero point thirteen or thirteen percent. Right. So from here, okay. Also, by the way, how did we find this risk premium? Well, we just add the two, and then we get ten percent. Uh, and uh, then this expected value R uh, of the five, everything five dollar, everything, we have a risk free rate of 0. 0.4, 4% times the beta is one, times 0 0.10 minus 0 0.04. This is equal to 0 0.10 or 10%. Okay. So according, okay, according, to cap M, dollar discount requires, okay, requires based on this expected return predicted by cap M, requires a 13% return based on its systematic risk level which is the beta equal 1.5. However, okay, however, the forecasted return is just 12%. Forecasted return, return is just 12%. So if we're comparing 12% and 13%, which is what we computed for, the, therefore the security that a uh, dollar discount is under is overvalued. Four dollar discount is overvalued. If we do the same analysis for the everything five dollars, for uh, the uh, the forecasted return is um, uh, eleven percent, but the uh, it just requires um, a return of ten percent based on its systematic level of beta is equal to one, right? Therefore, the security is currently undervalued, right? So we have the case that, okay, so everything 
asking $5 requires a return of 10% based on the beta is equal to 1.0. However, the forecasted, forecasted return is 11%, hence uh, five, everything $5 is okay undervalued. So that's it for this particular video on the capital asset pricing model. We're going to do more examples as we go along. So thank you for your attention and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.